My name is Kevin Cole. I'm an artist slash educator based in Atlanta, Georgia. To give you a little history about myself, my, I did my undergraduate at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, um, then a Master in Art Education from the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana, Master of Fine Arts in Drawing at Northern Illinois University. I would say for the last 20 to 30 years, my work has dealt with several issues. Uh, number one, a story my grandfather shared with me. Number two, um, the relationship between sight, sound, and color in reference to music. Number three, um, three, four, and five, three events that have changed our lives forever. September 11th, Hurricane Katrina, and COVID-19, and as well as gerrymandering and voting. And there's new body of work that will be uh, seen at the uh, Jenkins Johnson Gallery in San Francisco is about the idea of circles and, and ladders. What are circles and ladders? But let me bet, digress to go back, talk about the first issue. When I graduated from high school, I didn't want to go to the register to vote. My grandfather, the late Sam Cole Sr., took me to a tree where African Americans were lynched by their neckties on their way to vote. And in, in uh, 1993, a book came out called Without Sanctuary, which documented that lynching, and as well as the Legacy Museum in Montgomery, Alabama, has documented lynching that took place near his property. When I talk about the relationship between sight, sound, and color, I listen to music as I work, music, music that is prevalent in the African-American community, such as gospel, jazz, hip-hop, R&B, as well as blues. And um, then um, when I talk about um, September 11th, I was supposed to be in New York on that day and I decided I, I, I didn't want to go. A friend of mine took me to took a picture of a little boy holding a piece of aluminum and tar paper. So I started working on aluminum and tar paper as my protest against September 11th. And when I think about Hurricane Katrina, I had several frat brothers who lived in, lived in New Orleans. I would go back and forth with them to uh, pick up um, supplies or whatever that was left. So I started to do a series of mapping where I, technique where I started to map the path of the storm and to look at areas on the map where the storm actually took place. So I decided to do a series called Fragments of Frozen Sound. And that series was about New Orleans and its music and everything else. And later on, uh, the idea of gerrymandering. I read a book by Dr. Ron Walters, who's my fraternity brother, entitled Freedom is Not Enough addressing the issue of, of, uh, of jury managing. What is jury managing? You know, it, it's, it's, it's areas where the black votes are suppressed. And then Carol Anderson book, No Vote, One Vote. And I noticed that all of them started to deal with, deal with the idea of voting. So I asked my friends to ask their uh, parents and their grandparents, what was some of the experiences in the South in terms of voting? And, um, I didn't realize that the old ballot boxes would look like mailboxes. And I didn't realize that an African-American male by the name of Philip Downing designed the mailbox. So I created a, a series of ballot boxes that addressed like how many bubbles in the bar of soap, how many black eyed peas in the bag, such issues as that that, that I started to explore. But, but in my show in um, San Francisco, I'm dealing with the idea of circles and ladders. What, what is a circle like? Why I'm using a circle is because we look at the idea of things coming back around in terms of, of, of uh, dealing with the concept of African American wanting to vote. Uh, the idea of the circle being what goes around comes around. And the other idea of, of ladders. How do we move forward? How can we step up rather than, than, than step down? So the show is entitled Same Song, different beat, and it'll be held at the Jenkins Johnson Gallery in San Francisco, November 4th through December 16th.